Hi, and welcome on News Now, Belmont Journal Daily News Show and Community Update. I'm your host, Frederic Rigolo. The Porchfest, Belmont Porchfest is returns this fall, and for talking about that, we have with us um, Marie Bradley, town meeting member of Pressing 5 and founder of our Porchfest. Hi, Marie. Thank you for being with us. Hi, thanks for having me. So the um, select board uh, approved the return of the portrait for September 11. Uh, for September 11, and so, but for, first, can you tell us what is a portrait for the people who don't know? Sure, uh, porch fest is a day when people play music on porches, either their own or someone else's, and neighbors walk around and listen to different music. So um, people can sign up to register their own porch or, and they don't have to perform. They can just host and people can sign up to perform and we'll match them together. However, this year, because this is our third year, so many people who have signed up their porches have done it in the past. They know the performers. So almost all of the porches so far are matched up, making my job very easy, but they're there are still some porches that don't have performers, and we are always, uh, we want more people to, more porches to sign up, as many porches as possible to sign up, um, and we will find performers for them so we can have a huge celebration. What, is, so can you um, uh, tell the viewers uh, whether or not it's open to all musicians, or is there any requirement for a musician to perform? There are no requirements. Anyone who wants to perform, we will find a porch for them. And it's not just um, musicians. We also have someone who is going to be reading from his, his novel. He actually contacted me to help me with marketing Celtic music. And in our conversation, it turns out that he had written a book about growing up in this area and Celtic music. And he sang a song to me on the phone and um, I said, would you be interested in reading from your book and singing? And he said, yes. So I'm still waiting for him to sign up. I'm sure he will. Um, and so, so that's very fun. And then we're also hoping, although we don't have it all nailed down yet, but hoping to have um, some, some painting activities. So some, some other kinds of art. So any kind of art is welcome. Um, okay, so like juggling not or... So it's all uh, it's all uh, performing art. It's not just music. Uh, it's just all performing art. So how how can people uh, sign up to do a performance or to have a porch or to offer their porch? That is a great question. Uh, the way to sign up and and also to find out what the schedule is for the performances is um, to go to www.belmontporchfest.org. And so right now it's open for registration. The registration will close on August 1st. Um, and then around August 15th, we have a tentative schedule. We'll reach out to all the musicians and all the, all the porch hosts to make sure that the schedule works for them. And then once we have that finalized, we'll publish the schedule on the website. So. All of this is run through the website. There are a couple of signs around town just to remind people to sign up, um, but everything is done through the website and also Facebook, you know, um, and at, and if anyone has questions, they can contact Belmont Porch Fest at gmail.com. So. Okay, Belmont those, Porch Fest at gmail. It's all internet based. Yes, and also uh, the previous, uh, the previous Porch Fest relied on sponsoring and supporters. So do you need also um, some others for this year or are you all set? So Belmont Porch Fest has had fabulous uh, sponsors from the beginning. Uh, Belmont Cultural Council was our very first sponsor and MAN sponsors us every year. Belmont Media Center has been a sponsor. Um, we have a number of people in the community that sponsor us and without these sponsors, Belmont Porch Fest wouldn't exist. So people can, can donate um, either through the the Facebook page, or uh, um, there's, or through the website, there's PayPal on both of those. 
Um, it's Belmont Porch Fest is a nonprofit, uh, so it's tax deductible. So we all owe, we we love sponsors. We need sponsors. We also love and need volunteers. Um, so if people are interested in volunteering, they can reach out to Belmont Porch Fest through our Gmail or through Facebook. The Gmail is belmontporchfest at gmail.com. And what kind of volunteering do you need? Belmont Porch Fest needs volunteers throughout the entire course, um, building up to the actual event and then on the day of the event. If we have, have enough volunteers on the day of the event, we can do additional activities, which we're hoping to do. So if people are interested in volunteering, they should reach out to belmontporchfest at gmail.com or through the Facebook page. The previous uh, Porch Fest, um, the, the performance were on around the town and on porches everywhere. But at the end, everybody was um, invited to join. I think he was at Payson Park or it was or Tunfield, I don't remember. So is there something like this for that day too? Um, and from what time to, so, and wh what are the, all the hours of the porch fest, I would say too? Sure, great questions. So this year we decided not to do the grant, what we call the grand finale, um, primarily because we started planning this back in March and we didn't know that uh, what September would look like. So, so we just eliminated that and made it as simple as possible. Um, and we were originally just going to have uh, Porch Fest go from 12 until four, but we've extended that to 6 p.m. because it's just, it's so much fun and that we wanted to give them the opportunity to go around and see a lot of, of other performers as well. So we've extended it from 12 until 6 p.m., uh, but no grand finale this year. Yeah. However, if, if, uh, if large bands sign up, we will find a place for them to perform. So we're hoping the marching band will sign up and 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 other large bands. So I assume that the grand finale is not happening because of the COVID restrictions. Um, uh, is there any COVID mitigation or restrictions that you are planning on? At this point, there are none. I contacted the health department and they said that Massachusetts doesn't have any COVID restrictions right now. And so we're not, we're not imposing any as well. Um, if that changes, we'll post that on our Facebook page and we'll post that on the website and we'll contact all the performers and the porch hosts. But at this point, it's up to each individual to decide their comfort level. And I'm sure everybody in the community will respect where other people are at and have a, you know, a great time coming together to the, to people's comfort, <laughs> within people's comfort. Yeah. yeah. So, and anything else to add about the porch fest? Let's just hope the weather is sunny. <laughs> Yes, I saw that there is a, a raining date on uh, Sunday, September 12th, and uh, so yes, so we hope oh, it's great. <laughs> that the, uh, the yes. weather will be good, <laughs> not like it's this weather <laughs> that we have now. It's and great. so the Porch Fest is on September 11th from noon to 6 p.m. If you want any information, you can go on the website belmontporchfest.org. I have it correct. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. and um, and if you want to submit, uh, if you want to to host one uh, performance of you know a group or you want to perform, you have until August first to sign up. Right. So, That's great. Right. Yes. So thank you very much, yes. Mary, for coming on News Now. It, uh, thank you for watching, and see you next time. <laughs>